You know, this has been a problem we've seen coming for several years. We we first saw this kind of deep fake emerge really about three years ago. And it was very difficult to do at the time, but it was getting easier. Uh, and then you saw apps appear in app stores that allow you to do celebrity voice cloning. And there was other kind of voice cloning. And now we've seen mainstream um, uh, software operators, Microsoft and others, develop software that allows you to take just as little as three or four seconds of a person's voice and turn that into something that can be used to impersonate an individual. Mm -hmm. And it's actually very easy to do. It comes from a podcast. It can come from a voicemail. It can come from any audio source that has a person's voice. How common are these scams? Obviously, we just you know saw that big $2.6 billion uh, number from last year in terms of the money that was scammed from people using phone calls like this. Uh, and we've heard about scams targeting grandparents, but not much about the role that artificial intelligence necessarily plays in this. Yeah, it's, it's really an emerging trend. And it, it frankly is, um, it, it's, it's very difficult to do at scale. So, you know, identity criminals who and scam operators are all about how much money can they make, how quickly can they do it. So they're counting on people's reaction when they hear the, that voice. Uh, and historically, as you said, the grandparent scam, that's a very common scam. It's been around for decades. This is just a modern twist on it. And we're just at the very beginning of seeing it. Where that, that $2.6 billion figure comes from is not so much individuals being scammed as it is businesses. Right. Because the same thing is happening on the business side. And that's usually where the, someone is impersonating the CEO, the CFO, someone who has the authority to order payments to be made. And you're seeing large increases in those kinds of scams all around the world.